Johns Hopkins public health professor and virologist Andrew Pekor says booster shots have the potential to provide long-term protection against COVID-19. He discusses more about the booster's benefits, as well as studies on vaccines for children under 12 years on Bloomberg News. The principle is really the same. It's to make sure that uh, your immunity is not only boosted, meaning that your immunity in the immediate time frame is higher and stronger than it was pre-boost, but there's a lot of data that suggests that that booster shot will also improve your memory responses, meaning that your immune system will improve the number of cells that are present that will then be able to respond to a future exposure to the virus and therefore make you even better protected against infection. So booster principles there are the same way. Uh, the benefit is gonna be for immediate protection, but also for longer term protection. Can we uh, basically uh, come to the conclusion that the vaccines as they are now are not sufficient to block out the Delta variant when you see a place like Vermont with such a high vaccination rate, uh, seeing cases go up at such a dramatic pace? I think vaccines need to do two things. First and foremost, they need to protect against hospitalization, severe disease, death. and. The vaccines in the U.S. are doing that even against the Delta variant. Um, we're seeing increases in the amount of breakthrough cases that are symptomatic in vaccinated people, but we have to put that in context. The vaccine is still providing great amounts of protection against infection, and this surge in cases is really being driven by unvaccinated people here in the U.S. Now, that's not to minimize the fact that Delta is a much more aggressive variant than any previous ones, and it's challenging our vaccines in a way that we really didn't uh, think was possible a few months ago. So Delta is stronger. It's making inroads into the vaccinated population, but the vaccines are still holding up. Okay. So we're talking a lot about vaccines and who can get vaccinated and the kids who are under the age of 12 cannot, and we're about to go back to school, uh, most kids across the United States at a time when we have this really infectious uh, variant that is spreading wildly. We also are hearing reports that kids are getting sicker with this variant. What's the latest on that? Yeah, and uh, the news is a, a little bit concerning. CDC also came out with uh, new numbers this week that suggested that the uh, infection rate in children um, and even adults under the age of 20 or so is really driving the, uh, uh, the number of cases in the U.S. right now. So we're seeing Delta variant penetrate into, into younger populations more effectively than previous variants, and we're seeing it cause a greater degree of disease.